Hey CF Kids, my name is Melissa and joining me tonight I have two very special people. I've got my son Caleb. Hey guys! And my daughter Caitlin. Hi everybody! And we are so glad that you are joining us for the CF Kids Hangout. Now you may have noticed I've got on my schnazzy beret. Bonjour. And that can only mean one thing. We're having croissants for dinner! No. We're going on a trip to Paris? Definitely no. Okay, I guess when I put on this beret, it can mean all kinds of things, but tonight it means that we are making an art project for oh. our CF Kids Hangout. Okay. Oh. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So before we get to that, I just want to remind all of you watching about our CF Kids online service this past weekend. So if you didn't get a chance to catch the service, no sweat. Just go to cfmiami.org slash kids and you can catch up there. So we learned the bottom line, God gives you everything you need to keep going. Mm -hmm. And we heard about the story of the disciples when they were gathered together and a strong gust of wind blew and flames of fire came and descended on each one of the disciples. Do you remember what that means? The Holy Spirit was inside the disciples. Yes. And then they began to start speaking all kinds of languages. Exactly right. So, I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, so, the Holy Spirit filled the disciples. They started talking in all different languages. And then they went out onto the streets of Jerusalem and they started telling all these different people from all these different places about Jesus. And because they were able to speak in the different languages, because the Holy Spirit gave them just what they needed, all these people believed in Jesus and even got baptized, wow, which is that's amazing. amazing, right? Super wow. cool. All right, so I'm sure you're wondering, what are we making for our art project tonight? Let me show you what it is. We are gonna make a pinwheel of fire. Wow, that's cool. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you wanna make this project along with us, here's what you'll need. We are gonna start off with a square sheet of paper. Now, ask your mom and dad to help you cut your paper into the size of a square. This one is six inches by six inches. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. All that really matters is that it is an evil, even square. Okay, so we are gonna start off by decorating our square of paper in a fire, pattern so oh, okay. um get creative you can use crayons you can use colored pencil you can use markers and you can really make any kind of pattern you want but you're going to want to make it you're going to want to use like reds and oranges and yellow to really make it look like flames of fire all right and make sure that you color both sides because that's really going to make it look extra nice it's going to be amazing And if you're not artistic, guess what? Neither am I. So just do your best and have fun with it. Well, that makes two of us. Although my beret does make me, you know, a little extra artistic. <laughs> your next one. Okay. Oh, I like your patterns. That's cool. You know, the sauce for dinner. Man, you had some hope in there for a minute. <laughs> oh, oh Paris would have been a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paris and croissants. That's a package right there. Okay, let's do it.
Okay, boys and girls. So once you have finished coloring your square, you okay. want to do the front and the back. The next step is you are going to fold your paper in half diagonally. Okay. So carefully match tip to tip and fold your paper in half. Then you're gonna open it back up. So you see I folded it like a triangle. I'm opening it back up and I'm going to fold it again diagonally but the other way. Okay. And that's why it's important that your paper is in a square so that you can fold it. Okay, so I so now when I open up my paper in a square, you should have an X going across your paper, a yes. folded X. Yeah, that makes yes. Sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. Okay. Um, you're gonna wanna grab something to write with and mark the center of your X with a little dot. Okay. Okay, now using your finger, you are gonna put your finger next to the dot, that the center point, and right on that folded line, you're gonna want to make a mark. And you're gonna do that on each one of the folded lines. Okay. You're gonna mark off just a tiny little mark. Yeah. So in other words, like a finger space away from the center point, you're gonna make a mark on each side. So four times. And here's why you did that. Because for this next step, we are going to cut on those folded lines. Now, boys and girls, make sure that mom and dad are helping you. You don't wanna start cutting when you're not allowed to be playing with scissors, because okay. guess what? It's gonna mean you're gonna get in trouble. I so make sure that mom and dad are helping you and you're asking permission and they are right here along with you making this art project. So if you have permission to cut it yourself, go ahead and do so. We are cutting on those folded lines, but we're not gonna cut the whole line. We are going to stop when we get to that little mark that you just made. So you see, you're gonna cut and stop. Okay. And I'm gonna cut each one of those lines All just right. the same way. Okay. Next. Boys and girls, I have this hole puncher and it makes these tiny little holes. Um, you may not have this at home and guess what? Totally okay. Because all I wanna do with my hole puncher is I'm gonna choose one side. I'm not gonna make a hole on both sides. I'm gonna choose one side and I'm going to punch a little hole right in the corner. Okay. But okay. guess what? If you have a pen or a pencil, you can poke a little hole. You can have mom and dad help you poke a little hole. So you don't need a fancy schmancy hole puncher. It just makes it easier. A little tool come in handy. Okay. So I've made a hole. Here's, this is important. I made a hole on this side, and so when I rotated my paper, I made a hole on the same side. And then I rotated it again, same side, okay? okay? And then my last hole I'm actually going to make is right on that little center dot that I marked up earlier. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, once you have done all that, you are ready for the next. So, boys and girls, I have a sewing pin. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ms. Melissa, I don't have a sewing pin at my house. 
that's okay. Maybe your mom has a sewing pin. You definitely have to ask for help on this next step. But if you don't have a sewing pin, that's okay. You can use maybe a paper clip or a safety pin or a thumbtack. Um, any one of those things will work. And here's what you're going to do. So you are going to take your pin or your paper clip or whatever it is that you're gonna use and you're gonna stick it through the hole. Then I'm gonna take the next piece and put my pin through the hole. And then I'm gonna take the third piece and put the pin through the hole. And the same thing for the fourth little flap. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put it through the center point. So it will look like this once you have put the pin or the paper clip or whatever you're gonna use through those holes that you punched. Okay. Now, if you happen to have, maybe you have a jewelry making kit or you have a sister who has a jewelry making kit and you have a little bead you can use a little bead to stick it on through the pin. That's gonna help your pin wheel spin a little better. But if you don't have a bead, you can just leave that step out. That's not a big deal. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is run this pin through the eraser of a pencil. And once you do, voila, you have a pinwheel of fire. Wow. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is creative. All right, well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy making this art project with us. If you made a pinwheel of fire, I would love to see it. I would love to see that fire design that you came up with. So make sure to have mom or dad snap a picture of your pinwheel and post it on our Instagram page, which is CF Kids Miami, and use the hashtag at home with CF.